Hey everyone, it's Steve here from A470RC Soaring and it's the Queen's Jubilee Bank Holiday Weekend. We've got four days off, so there's going to be a bit of flying going on. Um, and uh, today I'm out, a uh, beautiful sunny day, uh, with an invitation to come down to the Lantricent Model Flying Club. And got here, brought my models, had a quick check, uh, chat with, uh, with everybody and then they all just buggered off. <laughs> so there's only Clive and myself here. Josh is supposed to be coming along, but uh, it's half past 12 now and I haven't seen him. So it looks like he might not be coming, but uh, Clive's here. So there's just the, the, the two of us here um, to, to do a bit of flying. Um, now I've got a new toy to play with as well. Uh, I bought myself a new transmitter. Uh, I. I did buy the FR Sky uh, QX7 and I've been flying the um, uh, Multiplex Heron on that but I was really struggling with the programming and there were some things I just couldn't get it to to work so so I did a bit more research and I decided that I would um, take the plunge and I've now bought an FR Sky uh, X20 with the Ethos system and um, that seems to be a lot easier to uh, to fly to program. So um, I'm going to give that uh, uh, a fly today. Uh, this will be my second flight with it. The first flight was just a, a, a trimming flight, uh, and uh, I'm going to see how that goes. See if I have to make any other adjustments. So let's get on and do some flying. Focus. Hang on, right, left, up, hey, no, no, it's fine, 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 hang on, hang on, oops, I'm just checking. Thank you. Breezy. Well, not too bad. I think the wind has died a little bit since I first got here. Let's give it a bit of power to get it back up. There's two routes, I believe, from the north, and there's definitely one to the south that I went. 
so this is only the second time I've flown it on this on this radio um, I flew it on a local field to me for the first flight and uh, just to check all the, the movements control service movements etc and it's a bit better now than it was it's more responsive on the ailerons it was really sluggish before especially turning to the right so uh, I've made some adjustments and it seems to be a bit better I thought there'd be some good thermals around today we'll have to wait and see there's no sign of anything as yet Sink coming through there now. Let's try this vario, see if it's working. 69.7 meters, zero meters per second, motor art. 65.6 meters, 62.2 meters, 60.9 meters. Okay, I'm gonna to have to make some adjustments. I don't want it that frequently. <laughs> I thought I'd set it for about every five seconds, but uh, it appears it's not doing that. There were no instructions at all for um, for, for Vario, so it's just a case of trying to work it out myself. So let's turn that off. The other thing I've got to get used to is having the throttle on the slider. Normally, I would have it on the on the stick. Let's take it behind me, out of the sun, and I tend to often find I pick up thermals better downwind than I do upwind. Well, let's see, there might be some thermals over those trees over there if I got more height. Let's do that. Need a bit more down elevator movement. Put a little bit of down elevator trim in. Ooh, it's sinking there. A little patch of sink. Stalling a little bit there, so power. Up a bit of lift there. Thirty-seven point two meters, zero point two meters per second, forty-two point four meters, fifty-one point one meters, fifty-six point one meters, sixty point six meters. It's a bit far away though. Sixty-seven point six meters. I got a thermal. Seventy-five point two. Yeah, over the trees. Eighty point two meters. Eighty-six point four meters. Ninety-four point eight meters. Modern arm. One hundred point two meters. 108.5 meters, 113.6 meters, speed 115.7 meters. Turn that off. There 
Yeah. Yeah. Now in speed mode it needs a bit of um, it needs a bit of elevator compensation. So I'll have to look at doing that. So there we go, that's the session done. Uh, the heroin was flowing, flowing? Flying pretty well. Uh, one or two little adjustments I need to make. Uh, but no, otherwise uh, it's fine. Um, I've still got this Vario uh, to sort out. I have got it partially there, but it's uh, it's giving me the height in meters, which is what I want. Um, but it's also giving me uh, meters per second, and I don't want that. So I'm I'm going to have a look at uh, maybe disabling that or whatever. But other than that, um, <coughs> so far. I'm really pleased with the um, the Tandem X20, and uh, see how we get on uh, programming other models into it. This one was really easy. Uh, as I say, I used the um, the template uh, by Mike Shellam on uh, the uh, RC Saw website, and I'll put a, a, a link to that uh, down below in the uh, description box. So uh, if any of you um, buy an X20, then you can find that link and um, download the template onto your um, onto your radio. Uh, the template was easy enough to use. Uh, once, once it's on there and you open up the model, uh, there are a set of instructions on the website and uh, you just have to go through this uh, calibration um, procedure. And if you get that right, then it's uh, all fine and dandy. So um, yeah, that's, that's, that's been really good to do. So anyway, that's the end of this session. Um, it's, uh, it's still early afternoon, but um, it's a beautiful sunny day and um, I can feel my uh, skin starting to burn a bit. So I'm going to go and find a pub and get a nice pint of cold beer. So um, enjoy your weekend and uh, whatever you're doing, happy flying. <laughs>